we've always had a really charmed life. We went from having an extremely busy, happy family to devastated in 24 hours. With no warning, with no feeling of being ill, I was diagnosed with lymphoma. Working as a language instructor was my only source of income. Everything was on an even keel before this financial meltdown. My main source of income was cut off and there was eviction notice on my door. I didn't know what to do. I was petrified. Everything was going along well and then Hurricane Katrina came and we left our home, evacuated in literally in the middle of the storm, escaped with little or nothing other than the clothes we had on our back. I have a young child that's losing everything. I mean, he lost his school, he lost his friends, he lost his swim team. I need a, a place to live, I need food for my table. I don't have any funds to, to do anything and it's frightening. Our community is a small community. I didn't have my driver's license and we weren't able to drive. We didn't know what to do. And you can depend on friends only to a certain degree to drive you to different places. What changed the last few years rather dramatically was that the folks that were on one side of the table, the donor side of the table, found themselves in a position of needing assistance. The Jewish Federation embraced us during a time when we were completely without. It wasn't even a question if, they just did. I've had the experience of sitting at a donor's table at fundraising for Jewish causes, and now I am on the other side. When I asked for help, I was amazed how they just like snapped into action. It was just, how can we help this woman? And that was really beautiful. We turned to the Jewish Federation and they came together for us and provided everything we needed to reestablish our life. They really were an incredible network of people. All my working years I supported the Federation. But you're still supporting I'm still supporting it, yes, but the Federation is now helping us when we need them. The Federation program, it was really a lifesaver for us. People don't have to be embarrassed to accept help. We're glad to be there to help them. When the tables are turned, it's often really hard for people that are used to giving to be taken. I was five years old playing in the yard and my friend came and told me that I don't want to play with you anymore because uh, my mom told me that you are Jewish. I didn't know what does it mean, the word Jewish. I started crying. She became a doctor in Belarus. She felt that something was missing in her life. Bringing her to Israel helped her find her soul. You study medicine, you uh, study also Hebrew. You feel the taste of new country of Israel. I understood that my soul is already here. One of the approaches is addressing the needs of children and youth at risk, trying to offer them an, another alternative, helping to change their lives that put them on a different path. Well, I'll tell you one thing, the Federation is keeping a good eye on the Jewish people. I'm very, very grateful to everybody from Jewish Federation. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Now I'm even more proud of being a Jew because of this experience that I've had. Thank you. And without the Federation, it would have been a battle that I would have fought alone.